Hey everyone, welcome back. We're gonna go find uh Gorski, I guess. So let's go on our way. We'll go this way. Yeah. Oop, I'm blacking out immediately. Holy shit. That scared me. Finally, it works. Go out uh, five meters. So what's going on? Well, the atmosphere kind of changed. Found the area marked by Dr. Crowther. There's no one around. What do you think? Can we land the hopper safely here? Oh yeah. I think so. Solid ground, a large flat area. We won't find a better place. Entry point? Will it be 50 meters? Air accessibility is paramount. Yes, it's relatively clean. You can send Hopper, sir. I want to go find the rest of my crew. Because why not? What's that? Oh, damn! I seem to have gone too far. I can see the field markings that Dr. Gorski left behind and haven't found anyone yet. They all may have left the area as well. But before you move on, make sure to check the whole perimeter. As long as I'm here, let's see if I can spot someone in the distance. Mm, right. Anything interesting? Nothing yet. Unfortunately, no. I'm going back. Was the evacuation area for people. Oh, huh, okay. I wonder where he could be. What if I go down here? Right, there's no harm going this way. I'm entering the research area. Clear for now. Tracker? Silent. By the way, what did they find here? Oh, right. You don't remember. A piece of metal sticking out of the ground. Sounds inconspicuous, but in this desert environment, it's a phenomenon. The artifact turned out to be too big to dig up. Oh, shit. Or to subject to chemical and spectrometric analysis. Dr. Gorski set out to investigate its soul. It's here. Got someone. I need, to get, I need to get down there. Hello? Anyone here? Oh, no, an object. Oh. Huh. It, there's something on the ground. Oh boy, a journal. It's a journal. We must focus on both water, chemistry, and testing, geology, drilling. Geological cross section? Measurements? These are Merritt's notes. Oh, she must be some. There's a the same claim, tree spirit with hot, blackish red substance, not geologically, not planetary. Uh, Million, millions of yours or at least. We're close. Please search the entire area thoroughly. There's a regular allowance, interpreter, command headquarters, east division, solar system. 
Dear Dr. Marjorie, this is in response to the latest interruption of conference. We would like you to offer your your promotion in the future expedition most gladly uh, opposable three as in as you're not ask or not right your skills and overall performance in previous missions provided to us your readiness to take the next step in space journey we would be delighted to receive your response as soon as you are back from your current mission silly general prefix commander officer space division huh Okay. Snap, son. Can I go this way up? No, I can't. I gotta go the other way. I went the wrong way. I'm sorry. Hopefully we find her. Hopefully she's okay, not dead. Oh shit. The signal's coming from the castle of Batpat. That's concerning. I'm close, but I can't see her. Oh shit, there she is. She's here. I found her. What's her condition? Merit! Merit! Wake up! Wake up! Oh, she's Can unconscious. Is she dead? Dr. Merit? No. No Space vital here. functions. What's going I need on? To Oh shit, Three, she's dead. Oh. One, two. Don't do this to my Merit. Come on, Don't come on, come on. Please. Nothing. Lift up, Merit. I won't give up. Breathe. Oh. Come on. Yes, sir. No. That's enough. Enough. That just hits her in her boobs, okay. Merit. Aw. Astrogator? She's. She's. I know. Doctor. Yes, sir. We have to find the others. Please give me a minute. Of course. Oh. Everything will be fine. All fine. Oh. Covers next. Yes, thank you, sir. You should be close. Oh, here I got another single. Cover. Let's not assume the worst. You'll find it, Doctor. Alive. Sure about that. Someone's here. Hey, oh. Oh, hey. Oh, no. Yes, sir. Status. Yes, sir. He's. He's. Oh, shit. He's, he's dead, too. Not moving. This doesn't mean anything yet. Kovel? Don't do this to me. You're alive. Did you hear that, sir? Cobbles alive. That's I good. Doubt it for a second, Doctor. What's his current state? Checking. Oop. Parameters normal, yet he's completely unresponsive. Cobble. Hey, buddy. How are you? Cobble. His eyes are. So empty. Just like Crouch's. Kovel, what the hell is wrong with you? Where are his blueprints? The same as Dr. Crouch's. He's calm. Calmer. Well, at least he's alive. Now listen to me, Yasna. The lander is on its way, but before you get Dr. Kovel on board, I want you to do something. Well, what do you need? Yasna. I'm listening. Please look around for his journal. It's everywhere. In pieces. No, not good. Koval was in radio contact with Dr. Gorski. Taking notes. That's exactly why it's so important. These notes may help us find our man. Oh, snap. I'll go over them. But it may take a while. The thing. Ooh, I want to read those. 
So I'm decline. There is a life on this planet after all. Daniel will be so happy. Damn. Found them. Surprisingly accurate. Uh, the Sisters branch underground checks the right branch. Massive vertical exhibited pernice above the surface. Water tank underground structures, the biggest one yet. SI heel 150 meters flagged, visible from 0.4. Actum 350 ditches 200. Oh, okay. He wrote down Gorski's every step. Great. Let's get Cobble to the evacuation area. Can you carry him, Doctor? I can try. <laughs> Might be pretty hard in 1G. But the gravity here should make things a tad easier. Oh, he's a light. He's a light baby boy. Already. The underbombing crowd is also on its way to the site. Don't need short. The land is already descending. Uh, what do you? I have a feeling it's going to crash. Landmark. What happened? Led to all this. Crowther, Adi and Merrick, now Cobble. An unprecedented degradation of equipment, recurring connectivity issues. It all has to be related somehow. On the other hand, how could it be? There's right. Much on this planet. Primitive life forms in the ocean, metal deposits in the ground. Although the latter got Dr. Gorski's interest, for some reason. Uh, I think it's some kind of autonomy. Someone is behind it, we're just... We were just careless. It's crazy how everything's falling apart here. I don't know. Maybe we're dealing with some kind of anomaly. An atmospheric or magnetic phenomenon. Uh, I wouldn't doubt it. something like that show on the charts? Probably not. I remember. Maybe he made a mistake. Hey, robot buddy. Is the other guy in here? Yeah, he's in here. Okay, cool. We're gonna sit you down, buddy. You're buckled in. See you up there. You're buckled in. Alrighty, guys. Only Gorski's left. Have a we safe trip. Made it quite far. Agreed. Everything points to it. I don't know how long I'll be looking for him. I'll go back from Arden. I'm going after back. him. We, we need to examine the body. Nor what he's going through. I'll go back for Marit's body first. Take her to the lander. But yes, now. Doctor Marit is already gone. What if we also lose Gorski? I've made up my mind, Astrogator. I can't leave her like this. Aww. Take Marta's body to the lander. No man left behind! Damn it all went south really, really fast. An anomaly would be a valid point. Unless there's something we don't know what. Unless there's something more intuitive. That's a seared off backpack. What what would cause that? See, she's okay, but her backpack wasn't. Which is a little bit weird. Okay, I'm a little, Come in. How a little bit. Feeling? How do you think, sir? Well, I'm managing. Ooh. Somehow. Forgive me, but I need to know if you're ready to continue your mission. I have to. I, I find it hard to believe that she. You don't have to worry, sir. Please don't worry about me. Death is a natural process that every human being has to get used to. Yes, ma'am. I don't expect you to be so. But I do. Let's leave it like this. I'm really concerned about it. The amount of uh, 
cleavage in my face right now. Do not like it. I have served with Dr. Merritt for over two decades. Oh, yeah? Of sterner stuff. The sternest. Many of us relied on her. I did. Uh, she was going to be an astronaut. You know that headquarters offered her a promotion. She would have been the first female astrogator in the astrogator. history of the Commonwealth. I had no idea. Doesn't matter anymore, really. Not entirely. Merit will be awarded posthumously. It still inspired other women. This is probably not the first time for this decision. This is you started. It doesn't matter. It seems so trivial to me now. The badge, the fancy title. As an emblem of human life and values. I thought it would bring you some comfort. Maybe that's a consolation for you, sir, but not for me. Yeah, I'm sad she's dead. But it is what it is. She's old, she had a heart attack. Please take good care of her. Of course. Dr. Gorsk is next. Yes, sir. Got out of danger in time. It would be good to know what kind of danger we're talking about. It would. Uh do I need to go this way? Where do I need to go? So I should be able to go up through there and go around. This is what I'm assuming. But I'm not sure. I want to look, look back around here and see what I can find. So what happens if I go back this way and nothing happens or Or do I go down here now? I'm leaving the excavation site. <sighs> How did he come down? Right here. Hopefully there's a much easier way to get back up so I don't have to carry his body, maybe, perhaps. Oh, maybe he betrayed us and he's with the Alliance. So soon? Oh, see. It's unlikely to be him. Then who? You were correct, sir. It's just our probe. Oh. It looks inactive. Can't be completely broken if you picked up a signal. I'd say it's running in safe mode. Please try to power it on. Do we have time for this? It's for a good reason, Doctor. The probe could prove useful in the search. And besides, you'll see. Okay. Oh. I'm opening the probe. Turning the systems on. No, no, stop. Wait for my instructions. There's a button on the left side of the fuse box. Hold it, and then turn the dial again. Left side. Go ahead. Hold it, and then turn the dial again. Oh, Slide shit. Records. Correct. I, I didn't know we had access to them. You couldn't have known. This is not standard procedure. But as they say, extremis malice, extrema remedia. Let's take a look. Oh shit, so this is when we first got on the planet. This is the fish. This is us catching the fish. That's the beginning of the mission. A photo of the first days on the surface. They started exploring the littoral zone almost immediately. They reported as much. It wasn't until the fourth day that comms failed. Huh. 
No expeditions inside. I recognize these structures. This is where they began to dig. They drove us insane. Twelve hours passed. Three crew members are still there. Dr. Gorski must have left already. We lost contact shortly thereafter. Oh shit. He betrayed us. The detector. probe followed him, and he followed the detector's readings. Going after those metal structures. Yes, that's what I meant. What's next? Seeing a whole lot of nothing here. Nothing out of the ordinary. Yeah, there's nothing out of the ordinary here. Why is it black? Last slide. There's mostly noise. Nothing in particular stands out to you, Doctor. They were digging and suddenly, poof, people are dead. No need to shout, Astrogator. I'm just Excavator. letting you know what I see. That's all. Uh, hang on. An absurdly high electromagnetic field reading. That's something. Sort of. What are the earlier readings? Checking. Still high in the slide just before. And earlier, quite normal. Hey, oh. Did he hit it with a magnetic pulse from the detector? Did he, did he fucking do this? I think he betrayed us. He's part of the Alliance. I think I thought it was kind of weird that he was aiming it at uh, the probe. I think he should have the probe with the uh, the ore detector, the metal detector. It happened in a matter of seconds, but there's there's nothing except dunes, sand, a few rocks, a shadow. Shadow. Another sandstorm, I guess. All right, Doctor. Let's move on. You may turn on the fuses now. We'll take the probe with us. Yes, sir. It works. It, it still it if works. If you run it on manual steering, sir, then then it works just fine. <laughs> That's exactly what I'm doing. You have a keen eye. I'll put it in auto mode. From now on, it will follow you, Doctor. Ah, uh, great. Oh, be nice to have some company. Uh, I mean, right. apart from yours, sir. One second. That's odd. There's no data in the probe's memory. No ID. No nothing. Do you want to give it a new ID? Name it, basically. After all, it'll be with you for a while. Oh, uh, so, I know. I'll pick a name. What's it going to be? Huh. A name for the teleprobe. All right. I can think of something. Copy that. I'm listening. Maybe B. Better. Ball E. Luna, since it's... It operates op op around me. Please enter Luna. L. U. N. A. Now, a few more tweaks, and you'll have a flying measurement center at your disposal. Sweet, thank you. Do I go down here now? Oh, I do! Let's go. <sighs> Fuck yeah, yeah. Are you a little proby buddy? Yeah, well, yeah, man. This is the way to go. I don't see these metal structures anywhere. The detector's measurement is very clear. I'm going no. straight on. No what the fuck? Branches? Not yet. Just one thick, tangled vein. What is this? Yo, that's crazy, bro. Is this what attacked us? What's wrong, probe? Is it is it self self-aware? Like. It's like tentacles, right? Or ten, ten, yeah, tentacles. Ten, yeah. It has a mind of its own. This is interesting. 
Oh, there's more of these. Si oh, whoa. It's a bigger, bigger cluster. The probe detected something. Well, these weird metal rods. And the structure from the notes, it fits the description perfectly. Well done, Luna. I knew I could count on you. Well, we didn't bring it to the surface for no reason. Even in the first stage procedure. And now I'm going to apply for my own. As soon as you find Dr. Gorski, I'll see to it myself. All right, how about that point? What does it look like? the doctor's attention it's a vertical block a kind of organic but it's made of metal it looks like some kind of organic formation a root system maybe these structures have the ability to expand somehow shouldn't they be organic then ah that's the problem they look organic but they're not that's interesting Uh, the next three. point, the third one, is a metal bundle running along the bottom of some water reservoir. Interesting. An object yeah. as such should be easy to locate. Yes, hopefully. Uh, massive vertigo are improved above the surface, water tank, underground structures. Huh. Alrighty, well, we can get, we get it going. It's crazy. I can see that there's more like, more si like um, like these look like they're about to come out of the ground too. What a weird metal. Kind of curious. You've piqued my interest, my boy. Why am I humming? Why, why, why am I playing that tune? Water was mentioned in the note around the third point, and I have a matching object here. Alright, so how many are left? Two points, or at least that's what he told Koval. What he did next, it's hard to assess. The battery and the detector last for only a few hours, so he couldn't have gone much further. You say that. You could have gone all the way, you never know. What is this? Oh, oh, his shoes. There we go. Gotcha. I found his tracks. Finally, some tangible evidence that he was going this way. Good. It's downhill all the way, Doctor. I wouldn't be so sure, Astrogator. The next point is at a height of approximately 100 meters. I think is, we have the fourth point. Is that it right there? I confirm. It's the fourth one. I see our flag. Definitely uphill. I'm gonna catch up with Gorski soon. I think I'll catch up with Dr. Gorski on the other side. Gorski. That wouldn't be such a bad scenario, right? Of course not. Though I wouldn't mind if we bumped into each other before the climb. Hmm. Eh, hey, interesting. Ooh. Ooh, is this lava? Hell yeah. I'm gonna jump across it. What a savage. That's so interesting. That's an interesting flow of lava. Anyway, well, let's check my map. So if I try to circle back from me over there. Right, or do I climb this way? Looks like I climb over here somewhere. Here we go. Yeah. So I climb up here. Cool. Luna. What you want, Luna? 
I'm trying to climb here, man. I'm trying to climb here. Oh, so there's a climb up right here. My bad, guys. My bad. Whoa, hey. Easy there. She's trying to push me off. What the hell, Luna? Yo! The structures undergo noticeable changes here. If it keeps growing at this rate, I don't know what I'll find at the end. What kind of growth are you talking about, Doctor? Depth, width, complexity level? Both. In every aspect. Interesting. Do you think these veins lead somewhere? Probably. I wouldn't doubt it. More, more towards that conclusion. But I can't tell what we might expect at the end. If it ends at all. Three. Two. One. The land is departing. Yes, they're on their way. Thank nice. you for your assistance. Without your help, it would have taken much longer. What about Dr. Gersey? The for the second flight. The same place. That would work best. It's certainly proven. When you and Dr. Gorski come back, I'll Gorski. send the lander right away. Alrighty. Okay, that's a that's a lot. Uh, sweet. Oh, it's maxed out. Did it explode? What the hell? What the fuck? Ah, I've reached the top. I look like it exploded. The doctor discovered something new from here. Something he called bushes. Huh. I've heard that term before. In their conversations between Koval and Gorski. No, Jasna. You're the one who reported it to me. Right after you landed. Seriously? Well, I... Oh. I, I don't see anything like it now, sir. Wait. Yeah, what about it? Koval noted down the parameters. Oh, he did. So we look from here, I go... 350, this is 200. This was point four. Ooh, sorry guys. Azimuth three hundred and fifty. A distance two hundred meters. Copy that. I'm sending the probe. Bushes, whoa, whoa. Got it. I see the bushes. And the doctor? Mm, hard to tell. Visibility is poor. Huh. It's going to be harder than before. I don't know how the doctor. <sighs> when it comes to finding a safe route, there won't be a problem. But you'll have to get there on your own two feet. I suppose a probe will carry out the first task. It's capable, yes? Of course. I set the environment analysis mode. The probe will calculate the best route between your location and your destination. It'll guide you along the defined path. The calculations will only take a moment. Okay. All right, that works. What are the black bushes for, dude? That's crazy. What the hell? It's like a dog. She said like a dog. Hi, Luna. I must say, it's a clever device, this probe of ours. It is, it isn't it? fly for this long. Yes. Longer than you can stand on your feet. That's Sounds interesting. Like a perfect research unit. Maybe even better than a human. Well, let's not exaggerate. I was joking. Of course, I wasn't being serious. 
However helpful they may be, they're still just tools in the hand of man, often faulty. It doesn't take me to a safe area. I just get fucked up. Damn. Damn, look at that root system, man. That is crazy. And it looks like it's so close to the ground. Like barely, barely trying to get through the surface. Oh, we have a problem. Something serious? I already mentioned the faulty machines, right? Well, the route determined by the algorithm goes over a chasm. I can repeat the command. No, no. I'll go around. Uh, unfortunately, this is an outdated model. Such mistakes are inevitable. But the perception module itself has already been greatly improved. Its accuracy increases exponentially. That's good. Exponentially? <laughs> Can you imagine us, proteinaceous creatures, developing so quickly, sir? No, not in the course of evolution. You can't perfect a person like that. That's right, you can't. We wait thousands of years for visible changes. Oh, have you started to fear for your position? Perhaps one day, this decision, this decision is secured. Well, everything indicates that the clear distinction between humans and robots will soon disappear. And then what? Uh, capacity of humans will increase, machines will get their lo their rights, robots will start creating robots. We'll be fine at first. We'll feel more powerful than ever. And they, by becoming more human-like, will blend into our society. The boundaries will disappear. They will be granted their rights and given a voice. They will live on par with humans. You know what, Doctor? That sounds like some blasted science fiction. One in which I definitely don't want to live. Shh, Astrogator. Can you hear that? Uh, what am I supposed to be hearing? That's the point. Nothing. Silence. We're talking uh -huh. about robots, and Dr. Gorski still hasn't spoken on the channel. Well, oh, true. Then, uh, he must be a long way from here. Maybe, maybe his comms is connected like ours did. You never know. Are these like magnetic bushes? This is crazy. Dr. Gorski, are you here somewhere? Look at these bushes, man. That's crazy. Can I touch one? These bushes are kind of weird. You better stay away, Doctor. I'd like a brief description. Just keep a distance. Okay, I will. Use a language I would use to describe living forms, sir. Of course. So they look like pituitary, brush like formations. They can be singular, though in some locations they create a uniform thicket that covers the walls of the ravine in a rusty brush like layer. They grow out of cracks in the bare rock. They're high, more or less, from one to several meters. That's how it looks, to put it briefly. Would you also venture to guess their significance? Some function, purpose? Uh, defense system, energy harvesting, uh, energy system staying on the topic of biological analogies which in itself is already a major scientific distortion yes yes i understand these are not real plants but if they were plants those protruding parts climbing up they would serve to obtain energy mainly solar so not a bad idea though Astrogator, Gorski's not here. I'm afraid he continued to explore. And if he went where I think he did, he might have lost contact with the camp as well as Dragonfly. So you will most likely lose contact too. Uh, possibly. Well, there's only one way to be certain. Yeah. It's your decision, sir. Oh. Please continue your search. We have to find him. Ah, uh, yes, it's the right decision. That's the unwritten rule, isn't it? 
Under no circumstances do we leave anyone behind. That's right, Doctor. You can lose everything else, but you have to have the crew on board. The living and the dead. This is one of the most crucial imperatives, even though it's not in the regulations. Yes, sir. That is scary. Come on, buddy, where are you at? The line's breaking up, but I understood. I'll let you know, sir, when I come out of the tunnel. This is creepy. I don't like this. I should be touching it. Oh, God. Flashbacks. Dude, it's so pretty. It's not fair. Good. I hope so. scary so this is when I came looking for them Hopper has landed astrogator can you hear me loud and clear any side effects landing wasn't too hard on you no spine sin and one piece no signs of overstrain not even shortness of breath perfect hopefully the hike to camp goes just as smoothly hopefully Dude. Oh, hey. Outside. Visibility? 100%. The dust has already settled. I found this. I've located the second lander. Our people are still on this planet. Ah, very good. I was afraid they might try to fly off, which uh -huh. wouldn't be the best idea given the loss of communication with Dragonfly. Right. Sir, something's wrong. What is it? The hatch is half open. Did they report hydraulics failure? How should I know? You were the last person in contact with the crew, Doctor. Right. Never yeah, they didn't say anything to me. Oh shit, yo, what the I'm fuck? I'm inside. Everything's cooked. Oh, how is it? They couldn't go back even if they wanted to. Even if they wanted to, they couldn't go back to Dragonfly. Their lander looks damaged, to put it mildly. Or more accurately, it, it seems like a storm has passed through it. Understood. I mean, I don't understand how it happened. But that means... Hopper is the only vehicle that can take us home. Affirmative. Right. But then we can't afford another mistake. I'm taking the lander into orbit. I'll send it directly to the camp as soon as we find a suitable landing zone. Okay, go for it. Uh, we shouldn't be here. We'll manage. We've gotten out of worse than this. Equipment breaks from time to time. That's normal. But now... Go ahead. What's bothering you? This lack of communication. It takes too long. Especially considering there's a cyberneticist amongst them. Yes. It worries me too. No, oh, do I not? Okay. Well, continue marching towards the camp. I guess I'll just walk this way and see what where where I get taken to. Oh, hey, the ocean. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. Whoa. Damn. He 
You were right, Cobble. It's beautiful here. Yeah, he wasn't wrong. Guess we'll keep heading towards Cap and see what happens. Going to take a kind of a right right here. Ooh, trash. Please stop for a break. How do you know? Are there any signs of the crew? Someone was smoking here. I found a cigarette bud and a pack. Someone was smoking here. So they didn't give a damn about the regulations. Disrupting the ecosystem. Then that's not the point. I understand you want to minimize the effects of our interference here, Doctor. But the mission's safety is at stake. I don't think I have to explain to you the dangers of igniting a dusty atmosphere. Preserving the integrity of Regis 3's already extinct ecosystem is not a priority in this scenario. Negligible, actually. I dare to do so. I think both issues are important. Security procedures exist for humans. The rule of integrity is for the sake of everything alien to us. We shouldn't place one above the other. You say, yes, sir. The mission and the safety of our people have the highest priority. Always. Oh boy. It's a very self-righteous attitude. Always? Are we really that self-righteous? Of course, Doctor. We must be the most important to ourselves. And they must be the most important to themselves. Whoever they will be. In the end, the strongest will survive. Isn't that how evolution works? Not in a biological sense, Astrogator. Besides, I'm not convinced if we should interfere with everything alien to us just because we can. Doctor, interference is at the heart of human nature. Man would still be a monkey if he'd only looked at trees instead of cutting them down. Yes, we have a nasty nature. I can't argue with that. I mean, this all feels like a dream. You're going this way. Can you please confirm that I'm on the correct route? Yes, I, I, I know I'm the correct route. We'll reach the camp within an hour. Good. Save your breath, Astrogator. God, I love exploring. I can't help it, man. What's over here? Nothing. I can't go that way. Okay, whatever. Man, I want to go exploring, man. Oh, yeah, the bushes. Now I remember. Okay. What is this? Astrogator, I found a peculiar inorganic structure. It looks like some spiky metal growths. Artificial plants? Is spontaneous growth possible with this type of structure? I've never seen anything like this. I wish it looks I had like a nest. Some tests. When the situation is stable. What is that? Oh shit. Oh, oh no. Suddenly. 
Is that a body? That's not it. I feel darkness. Ooh. Hello. Ooh, boy, what's going on? Oh, no. Climbing. Damn, I got knocked out. And I touched the plant. That's not good. Well, I am going to end the episode here, guys. I will see you guys next episode. Mm -hmm.